after vacating the Gaza Strip in a land for peace deal, Israeli forces have had to go back into the Gaza Strip repeatedly, once for about a fortnight, once for closer to 20 days. Both times, the aim was to decimate the Hamas. Both times, Israel returned with the job half done. This time, especially after 1,400 people were massacred by Hamas terrorists, Israel insists, Shiv, once it goes in, it will decimate Hamas as a military entity, as a terror entity, destroy the tunnels and, of course, the entire weapons clusters that they have there. But how do they intend going about this, Shiv? What are Israeli forces doing? What strategy are they following? Well, we're right in the middle of, uh, you know, what looks like the beginning of another round of airstrikes. Uh, there have been 300 airstrikes since last night, and we're told uh, that more airstrikes are going to happen. Uh, we're being buzzed overhead by aircraft. Aircraft are flying overhead uh, uh, to and from the Gaza Strip. So obviously those airstrikes are taking place in the distance, which is Gaza City. This is the northern end of Gaza, but in the distance, the first big, uh, you know, urban conglomeration city is, of course, Gaza City. Uh, and that's where much of the bombing is taking place right now. Remember, th this ground operation is happening inch by inch, meter by meter. It's not happening at a kind of brutal, fast-paced, uh, 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 you know, velocity of the kind that uh, past invasions have taken place because uh, the appetite for uh, the casualties is extremely low at this point of time plus the hostage crisis hasn't been resolved just yet Gaza is in tatters Israel's multi-prone attacks have brought the tiny piece of land to the brink of collapse Gazans are living in fear as the war escalates every passing day. في اليومين السابقين هذا التصعيد أخذ منحنى خطير جدا حيث قام الجيش الإسرائيلي بعدة محاولات لاجتياح البر لقطاع غزة لكن عناصر المقاومة الفلسطينية تصد له خلال هذا الاجتياح أيضا كان هناك ضربات من الجو والبحر من الزوايا الحربية كان هناك محاولات للاجتياح البر. Thousands of displaced people are living in tents. In the latest attacks, an Israeli airstrike hit a house in Khan Yunis, injuring a mother and a four children. Israeli attacks on the Al Quds hospital in Gaza have caused massive damage. Over 12,000 displaced civilians were sheltered inside the Al Quds hospital. 15 out of 35 hospitals are out of service in Gaza Strip. As airstrikes continue, hospitals are running short of fuel. Israeli troops and tanks attacked Gaza's main northern city from both sides three days after they began a major ground offensive in the Palestinian enclave. Israel Defense Forces release videos of ground operations and airstrikes on Hamas targets in Gaza. Israel claims that humanitarian aid that is entering Gaza is not going to civilians. They claim that Hamas is taking fuel meant for civilians. We are making sure that there is enough there are enough supplies. The problem is that also when we bring supplies into Gaza then they are, uh, you know, Hamas takes over, like they did with the fuel from UNRWA, by UNRWA accords, not uh, reports, not mine. Uh, they go and they steal from the international organizations the, the food, they loot them. It's, it's a big problem, but we are making sure that uh, food and supply will go in uh, at the level that will uh, prevent a humanitarian crisis. This is very, very important also for us as human beings. Even though Hamas is facing heavy damage in Gaza and thousands of civilians are hit, the Hamas leadership has shown no indication of releasing the hostages. Bureau report, India Today.